What's going on everybody? This is Cody, your home theater hobbyist here. And today we have our full review of the Travolo S, a portable Bluetooth electrostatic speaker from BenQ. That's right, I said this is an electrostatic speaker. Now, a lot of you are thinking, that's an electrostatic speaker? All of the ones that I know are big. Yeah, typically electrostatic speakers are floor standing speakers or even room size speakers. But this right here is very small. It's even smaller than our heads, which is kind of cool. And BenQ was making it, and they typically are known for their projectors, displays, and that sort of thing. But yeah, they are in the audio game too. So to start off, let's talk about what an electrostatic speaker is. An electrostatic speaker is a speaker that uses the principles of electrical charges to create sound. And one of the main benefits is you get a super thin speaker. These two wings right here on the end are the actual speakers for this electrostatic speaker. This in the center, I'll talk about what this is in a moment, but these are the actual speakers for this speaker. They are super thin. And the way it works is you have two conductive grids, one in the front and one in the back. And sandwiched in between those two grids is a plastic film that's coated in conductive material. And the way it works is the amplifier inside your electrostatic speaker sends a current or a charge to the front grid and another to the rear grid. And it can be either positive or negative. Now those charges are going to be of equal force. And when they are sent, they're either going to push the diaphragm in one direction or pull it in the other direction. And that pushing and pulling motion is what creates the sound waves that we hear. And that's what creates the sound, which is really cool. Now, one of the main benefits of an electrostatic speaker is since you don't have the cabinet, you get a lot less distortion because you don't have as much cabinet resonance. So you get a nice clear sound, but that's also one of the main drawbacks. Since you don't have a cabinet or enclosure, it doesn't really do bass all that well. So what you'll see is a lot of manufacturers will put a woofer unit down at the bottom of the electrostatic speaker to give you that bass. In the Travolo S case, BenQ has put these dual 12 watt woofers here up front so you will get bass and that's part of what is housed in this cabinet. But now that we've talked about what an electrostatic speaker is, let's go ahead and let's talk about the Travolo S and its specifications. The Travolo S is a portable electrostatic Bluetooth speaker with three different input types. The first and most obvious input is Bluetooth, but it also supports USB and three and a half millimeter stereo input, but sorry, no aptX support. It has a frequency response from 60 Hz to 20,000 Hz. Playtime is up to 18 hours using the built-in rechargeable battery. It is 6.2 inches tall, 2.5 inches wide, and 3.8 inches deep. It weighs 2.2 pounds and costs $199. The Travolo S does have a bigger brother called the Travolo 2. I won't be talking about it in this review, but if you want to find out more about it or the Travolo S, use the links in the description below. Now that you've heard the specs, let's talk about the overall design of the Travolo S. First and foremost, you've got these electrostatic speakers here and here, and down the center you have these woofers. There are two woofers here, and on the inside of the woofer right there is a copper sort of uh, metal piece there that I just kind of like. I like the way that copper looks there. And down there at the bottom, it says Travolo and it's got the same color, copper color as the inlay there, which is really cool. This also comes in a white. So if you want white, you can definitely go there. But I, from what I can tell, this is probably the best color, but I don't know. I haven't seen the white. So I do like this. Now, I did say this is portable, so you can definitely just pick it up and take it where you want. But before you pick it up, you want to make sure that you fold the speakers in like that then you can pick it up, it's a lot more compact that way, and you can put it in the included bag and carry it on your merry way. But when you get to where you wanna go, just plop it down, fold those speakers out just like that, make sure it's at ear level and you will get good sound. Once we turn it around to the side here, you can see the thinness of the electrostatic speaker, and you can also see where the battery is housed right here. And on each side of this case, you have a passive base radiator right there and there. And then along the back, you have the BenQ name up there. And down there is the micro USB port along with a three and a half millimeter input. So you can connect to your computer or whatever device with either one of these two. That micro USB port is also used for charging. Now let's talk about the top of the Travolo S. And the first thing you'll notice here is it has six 
physical buttons, which I like. In the day and age of touchscreens, it's nice to have physical buttons so you can just feel whatever control you need. And this has all the major controls that you want. The first and foremost is this power button down here at the bottom. You push and hold it and it starts up and it connects to the Bluetooth. Next to that is the Bluetooth button that you can push and hold so that you can pair it to your Bluetooth device. And as you can see here, there's a little red LED below the power button. That's because I need to charge the battery. I have been using this quite a bit. And over here is the Bluetooth LED that's blue and it'll blink blue if you know, you're connecting or pairing, something like that. Up above that, you have your volume buttons down and up here. And then right here is the play pause button. So you just push it. and it plays sound. Push it again and it pauses. And next to that you have this mode button and the mode button actually is a sound mode for the Travolo S. It has a normal mode and it has a 3D mode. I prefer the 3D mode myself, but you can kind of play around it and figure out which one you like. Now, just above that, you have this little NFC emblem there, and that's for NFC pairing. So you can pair this with your NFC phone by just placing it on top and it'll pair all on its own, which is pretty cool. And if you wanna turn it off, all you do is push and hold that power button again. And there you go, it's off. Now let's move on and do a few audio samples so you can hear how the Travolo S sounds. Now we're going to rank the Travolo S in a few different categories from one to five. One being the absolute worst and five being the absolute best. The first category we're gonna start off with is design. And from a design standpoint, I have to give this a four and a half out of five. I really like this design overall. I like the way this looks up front. I like the colors. I like the fact that you have this copper right here inside these woofers because it gives a nice pop of color that I personally like. I also like the fact that these kind of fold out and or excuse me, fold in and then fold out just like that because it's it's a one trick pony, but I think it's a really cool trick. And honestly, this is something I could see on the desk of a CEO, just kind of, you know, living there on the desk and just looking cool because, you know, typically people have offices, they have, you know, cool little trinkets in there for, you know, to play with. And this is not just a cool little trinket, it actually plays sound, which is a definite plus. So I like that design. I also like the fact that they have physical buttons on the top of this and the physical buttons that you need to use this particular thing including volume power play pause so all of those things are there they also include a couple of cool features you know that being the mini USB and the three and a half millimeter input so again you can use those different things so from a design standpoint I have to give this a four and a half out of five because it looks cool it's got these nice electrostatic wings here and it's just this is cool I like it the next category I'm going to rank is features and I have to give the Travolo S a four out of five Overall, I like the main features of this unit, including the fact that it has physical buttons up here so you don't have to find your phone. You can just push play or you know turn the volume up and down right here from the unit if you're near it, which I like. I also like the fact that it has NFC pairing and the different input methods down there. But BenQ also includes an app for this unit. So you can do things like check the battery status, you can toggle on and off the 3D mode, and it also has a help section so you can kind of get general help for the things that you need with the basic app. But what it also does is it, is it does include a pairing function. If you were to buy two Travolo S models, you could pair them together and you could do a pairing where you have a stereo mode where one is left and the other is right to give you a more you know stereo sound which is cool but they also include a party mode where they're both playing the same song but you can put them in different parts of the room or in different areas if you will and get a more fulfilling sound which i like that is a nice feature but honestly, the biggest downside to me of the Travolo S is it does not have a microphone. So if you were playing music and a call happened to come in, you would have to go find your phone, pick it up and listen to it and talk to it that way because you can't do microphone or, you know, it has no microphone, so you can't talk to it. But if you wanted a microphone, you can go for the Travolo 2, the bigger brother of this one that does have a microphone. So if that's make or break, check out the Travolo 2. But that's the reason why I have to give it a four out of five. I like the features, but I wish they did include a microphone with this unit, just in case you wanted to do a Bluetooth call. Now let's talk sound quality. 
Overall, the Travolo S has a nice, warm, laid back presentation. In the high range, it is nice, crisp, and clear. If you're listening to orchestral music, you're going to get those nice, clear notes that you're looking for. And once you move into the mid range and vocals, it's got a nice, smooth sound that's just a touch warm, and that's why I say it's nice and laid back. Moving into the bass regime, the bass is there, but it's not impactful. I mean, it only plays down to about 60 hertz, so it's not gonna you know, give you that good impactful bass, but it'll be there and it'll sound pretty good. But honestly, at the same time, because it's an electrostatic and the highs and the mids sound so good, at times I found that the bass could sound just a little bit muddy. And so I wish that BenQ would you know, try to clean up the bass as much as they can um, with this unit. But overall, I think it's a good presentation and it sounds better than most Bluetooth speakers that you're gonna purchase out there. So I have to give it a four out of five. The final category I'm gonna rank is value, and I have to give this a three out of five. This costs $199 retail, so that's kind of expensive for a Bluetooth speaker. I mean, most people, when they think of Bluetooth speakers, are thinking, you know, 50 to 100 bucks. Well, this is $200. Now, it looks cool, it's got a lot of nice features, including that party mode and the app and the NFC pairing and all of those things, and obviously it's got electrostatics, so that's really cool but it is a little bit expensive for a Bluetooth speaker, so I have to give it a three and a half out of five. So what are my overall impressions? Overall, I like the Travolo S. I like the design, I like the way it looks. I like the fact that these things fold in because I think that just is a nice little party trick there. I like the fact that it has physical buttons up top and it gives you a clarity of sound that you aren't gonna get from a lot of Bluetooth speakers, but it is expensive. So, you know, that is something that you're gonna have to deal with as far as your pocket is concerned. But if you're looking for an electrostatic speaker, or if you just wanna try out an electrostatic speaker, I definitely recommend this. And if you're thinking about a gift for dad for Father's Day, or even mom for Mother's Day, even though it is past, this is a really good gift because it's cool. And I mean, it's just, it's really nice. I mean, it's nice to have a Bluetooth speaker, and this is a really nice Bluetooth speaker. So I do recommend it. If you wanna purchase this or the Travolo 2 or anything else from BenQ, use those links in the description below. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment. We'll talk to you next time.